welcome, welcome back to another wonderful alopecia vlog where today I am talking once again all things wigs and today I have quite an exciting episode for you. So let's begin, let's get started. <laughs> So a little while ago I got approached by BBC Women's Hour and they asked me if I'd like to be part of their series on wigs and I found it really really excited that they were even doing a series on wigs. Before we start if you want to listen to the radio interview I'm going to link it down the bottom for you and there's also a short film on the BBC Women's Hour website as well of me showing my different wigs and talking a little bit about my journey and there's also some other stories from women as well who also talk about their experience with wigs. So it's really uplifting and it's a really lovely thing to have been a part of. What was really interesting to me was that the series on wigs was about lots of different people's experience of wearing wigs because I think when people think about hair loss and wigs, they don't often think about the fact that there are hundreds of people wearing wigs, thousands of people wearing wigs, and they're all wearing them for quite different reasons often, and their experience with wigs is really, really different. So they asked me to be a part of it, which was just amazing. And I'm wearing a wig today to celebrate wigs because I love my wigs and I love wearing them, and I do have alopecia and my wigs are a part of me. So really today I just wanna talk about my experience of doing the episode on wigs and doing the film as well that we made about wigs and really looking at wigs and celebrating them in general. One of the reasons that I enjoyed being part of the wig series so much was that I was able to hear and listen to other women talking about their experience of wigs and the way that they identify with them. And it was just really eye-opening for me because it made me realize that everybody has such a different experience with wearing wigs. It was really nice to be part of something so positive because one thing that I've always found is that whenever somebody is trying to talk to me about wigs they're always trying to put a negative spin on it so I do find that quite difficult sometimes because obviously for me as somebody who's had alopecia for 27 years I've had a really long time to get used to alopecia I've had a long time to get used to being bald so I don't identify with being bald and having alopecia negatively whereas I understand that some people may feel a different way towards having hair loss depending on when it came about in their lifetime depending on how um, they have gone through it themselves and it was just really interesting for me to be a part of and I was just really grateful to have my story featured and I really hoped that it helped to bring a lot of positivity to people. So I met somebody named Rashida and she was absolutely amazing and she had recently been diagnosed with lupus and all of her hair had fallen out as part of lupus and her experience of hair loss is so different to mine because she described it as being thrown into the world of having to wear wigs and having to lose her hair whereas that's just always been my world so one thing that was really apparent was that although we had quite a lot in common so we talked quite a lot before the interview went up and we found out that we had quite a lot of in common in terms of wig wearing and hair loss but also really different things as well like completely different experiences with hair loss based on how hair loss had come into our lives it helped me to have a better understanding of how other people could experience hair loss and how they might identify with wigs themselves and what it could mean to them I think one thing that did become apparent from reading the stories of the other women who talk about hair loss was that wigs are just more than a cosmetic item for a lot of people a lot of people see wigs as a cosmetic and they see it as a non-essential item and they always keep talking about the fact that it's non-essential, you don't need it and wigs are not seen as an essential item. But for me, when I was reading those stories, I really felt like they are an essential item for some people and not just because they're a cosmetic product but because people identify with wigs and because people have experiences with wigs for me i've grown up in them and i see myself in all of my wigs at different points in my life i see perhaps a phase i went through or i see a time when i really made a bold decision to go from really short hair to really long hair and that for me is just amazing and they've become a part of my life and who i am and from reading the stories from the other women as well for example, there was a lady who got diagnosed with cancer and all of her hair fell out and she wore really bright coloured wigs 
and she said that she felt like people weren't looking at her because she was sick, people were looking at her because her hair looked amazing and that to me is just amazing that a product can transform your world for you and it can transform the way that you think and the way that you feel. So I really felt like it helped to showcase wigs as a really positive thing because I feel like what's happened in the past and what still happens is people who wear wigs sometimes feel quite secretive about the fact that they wear wigs because people can be judgmental towards people that are wearing wigs and they can often say things like well you don't need to wear wigs why are you hiding who you really are as if by me wearing a wig is not me showing off who i really am as a person lots of people walk around with their hair dyed and big makeup is that then not who you really are or is that a part of who you are and your expression and your choice? And why can't wigs be that as well? I was just so grateful to be part of something so positive. I was really happy to be included. And I was really happy to meet Rashida as well. I think she's really inspirational and she really took it all in her stride and just got up and carried on. And that to me is just amazing. And when I think about somebody going through hair loss, and I think about my own story and my own journey, I realised that I've never actually technically seen myself go through hair loss. Of course, all of my hair was there one time at one point and then it all fell out. But overall, I've never actually had to look at it coming away from my body. And I couldn't even imagine what that would be like. So it was really nice to meet someone who could talk so openly about their experiences. And it was just... A fantastic experience all around and it really helped me to understand wigs a lot more and also to help me be more confident in myself and wigs I can wear wigs if I want to wear them and you can wear wigs if you want to wear them too and it will always be your choice and your decision about what you wear and what you choose and similarly if you don't want to wear them you don't need to do that either because it can sometimes feel like people are never happy they're always saying things like oh well, you don't need to wear a wig you look great without the wig you don't need one and then well why don't you try a wig if somebody doesn't want to wear a wig I meet lots of people who say well I tried the wig thing and it just wasn't for me it just didn't feel right and then I meet people who say I just love wigs they're amazing I'm working on my collection I can't wait to get more I feel so excited about getting a wig so it really helps to highlight to me how wigs are such a choice for a lot of people so do check out the series I believe there are three episodes on wigs and they're all currently available on the BBC Women's Hour website I've linked them all down below I've also linked the film that I made with the BBC about wigs and my relationship with wigs I've also linked the page that has seven stories including from myself about women who wear wigs and their experience with them and what wigs mean to them and I really felt like what my wigs mean to me was such a great title for that piece because wigs mean something completely different to a lot of people and it was just really lovely to read that and it was really lovely to have that highlighted in such a positive way so please do go and watch the video please do go and listen to the episode that I filmed alongside Rashida for Women's Hour and let us know what you think and let us know if it was helpful let us know your thoughts and feelings what do wigs mean to you I'd love 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 to hear from everybody so yeah that's really about what's been going on recently and I just thought I'd let you know in case you're not following me on Instagram or Twitter and do follow me on there because I often release updates about what I'm doing so make sure that you're following me on there. Now I'm gonna go and relax for the evening and you know what that's a really great part of the day taking my wig off at the end of the day because although I love wearing it I also love letting my head breathe as well so yeah thank you so much for watching I really really hope that you enjoyed this video let me know what you think about the episode that we recorded for women's hour so let me know what you think about the film that I made with the BBC about my wigs and what they mean to me I'd really really love to hear from you so give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe I make new videos every Wednesday at 4 p.m. GMT yeah and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get a little bing whenever I upload. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again next time for more alopecia goodness. Bye!